The idea of solar-powered automobiles has been deemed by Detroit to be unmarketable. It remains irresistible on enterprising campuses here and around the world. MIT has been working on solar cars for years now, and now Dartmouth has entered the field with a $60,000 bullet-shaped racing car that will take on MIT in several European challenges next month in the fourth annual Tour de Sol race in Switzerland. Our solar car correspondent is Marcus Jones. You're looking at the future. Lightweight electric cars fueled by solar energy. On good days like this, they're powered solely by the sun. When the weather is less cooperative, they run on rechargeable batteries. It is the future. Uh -huh. um, the drawbacks right now are cost. Uh, the technology is ready. Um, a vehicle like that of that weight could be used for commuting. Uh, very similar to people riding a motorcycle. It's a, a, uh, a one-person commuting vehicle. Uh, you could drive it to work, leave it in the parking lot. If it's a sunny day, you'll have enough energy in your batteries to get home and then get back in again the next morning. You ready to roll? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to turn me on? At the Breyer Motor Sports Park in Loudoun, New Hampshire, students from Dartmouth College and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology are test running the cars they'll enter in this year's international solar race car competition in Switzerland. Should I just floor it and hope it works? For 21-year-old James Warden, driver of the MIT car, next month's Tour de Sol will be his fourth solar race car competition. He's been building solar-powered cars since he was in high school. I had played with electric cars for a long time and uh, the idea, you know, not real ones, and then I got a solar cell at Radio Shack and I put the two together and said it must be the way to, to do it. In the right way. Now, attention, attention please. Could you please clear the track? The vehicles are preparing for the brake test at this moment. Thank you. Dartmouth's sleek and polished entry in the Tour de Sol will be the only other American car in the race. This is the first time they've ever done anything like this, but what they've done is impressive. Under the supervision of research engineer Doug Frazier, 25 graduate and undergraduate classmen put this car together in less than six months. And the project involves students with varied academic interests beyond the field of engineering. Larry Kaufman is a graduate business student at Dartmouth, the money man in charge of fundraising. The budget we have runs around $60,000. That's not money we have to spend, but what we think it's going to cost, uh, realistically. Uh, we have already received uh, value in excess of eighty to ninety thousand dollars. How much will this get city? City? Oh. Well, you know, twenty five miles a gallon. Uh, a gallon of sunshine, I assume. There you go. There you go. <laughs> okay. For both teams, this one-time meeting before packing up for Switzerland is an opportunity to look over the competition, share thoughts about the technology, and work out a few bugs. There's not supposed to be any racing, but I'll admit I found it hard to resist that open track and the challenge of man against machine, a solar-powered machine that just happened to be going about 30 miles per hour. Oh well, maybe one day they'll invent solar-powered running shoes. But the 10 o'clock news... I'm Marcus Jones. Why, why should it cost $60,000? I don't know. It's magic, but I don't think I would trust it on the expressway, though. <laughs> That's our news. I'm Christopher Lightning. And I'm Carmen Fields. Thanks for stopping by. Good night.